Hi, I'm Ivana Manthor Anderson, one of the ESL Title III consultants at the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction and co-lead for the NCDPI Dual Language Immersion Team. Welcome to the State and National Connection section of the Thomas and Collier Educating English Learners for a Transformed World book study. In Chapter 1, the authors state, as we face our continually transforming world, we can develop visions of our future schools, visions which may become reality in a relatively short time because everything is accelerated these days. Students whose first language is not English are the fastest growing demographic group in public schools in all regions of the United States. North Carolina is no exception. North Carolina has shown tremendous growth in the English learner or EL population, causing it to be known as a new destination state. What does that mean? Take a look at the other new destination states and the growth in the EL population in the state and national connections entitled EL population. Take a few moments to reflect and consider these questions. What do you think may have led to this growth? And how is it impacting your schools and your communities. As you read the chapter, ask yourself, are all English learners immigrants? Are all immigrants English learners? You may be surprised to learn that research shows that over 80% of ELs entering kindergarten are born in the United States. It's also interesting to know that although many immigrants and English learners in North Carolina speak Spanish, we have a great deal of linguistic diversity. Take a look at the heat map in the Language Diversity in North Carolina Connection. Find the number of languages spoken in homes in North Carolina. Does the number come as a surprise? Why or why not? My final question for you is, with these demographic changes, how can schools adapt to meet the needs of linguistically diverse learners? This book study is designed to help you explore just that and the state and national connections are provided throughout the study to help you understand how the materials in the book connect to the students of North Carolina. Thank you for joining us as we explore how to educate English learners in a transformed world.